before we talk about the speaker's race, what does it tell you? Because I feel like a lot of these things are connected. Election denialism, what happened in 2020, uh, and the push to get Jim Jordan in the speaker's chair right now. Well, look, obviously uh, these court cases uh, are playing out, uh, and I will leave it to the, the juries and the judges uh, and the prosecutors uh, to figure out, you know, what happens in those cases. But uh, I've said repeatedly, uh, Joe Biden won in 2020. Uh, what happened on January 6th was wrong and never should have happened. Uh, and obviously there's consequences uh, for these things. Voters elected a House Republican majority to govern, to serve as a check and balance on this administration uh, and the policies uh, that they have enacted. Uh, and, you know, for me, the frustration of the last couple weeks is that we have gotten completely sidetracked uh, because of a handful of members in our conference uh, who teamed up with 208 Democrats to upend the House uh, and throw out a duly elected Republican speaker without cause. And so now we find ourselves in a situation where we can't find consensus on how to, how to move forward, how to, how to elect a speaker, and how to govern as a body uh, on the important issues. And that is a real challenge. So what happens next? You uh, changed your vote, uh, I noticed, from McCarthy to uh, Patrick McHenry today. He was, and I guess still is, uh, somebody who many of you believe should be moved from just somebody with temporary powers, even though I guess some actually think he has more power than he does, but because this is also unprecedented, vote to affirm the fact that he is the current Speaker of the House. That evaporated inside your uh, meeting among yeah. the House Republicans yesterday because many of Matt Gates and people of, uh, of his ilk said we don't want to do that. What happens now? And were you sending a message with, with that vote that that's still your hope? Look, we have to get the House back open. Uh, there are too many important issues from appropriations and spending to the border to Israel uh, to stay closed. Uh, and obviously there's not consensus for 217 votes right now to elect a Republican speaker. Uh, and so in order to get about the work that we have in front of us, uh, Patrick McHenry is serving as Speaker Pro Tem. Uh, we need to empower him to serve temporarily as speaker uh, so that we can move this legislation across the floor. Uh, there is a, a difference of opinion about whether or not he already has the authority. Obviously, this list that Speaker McCarthy put together was, ena was enacted after September 11th to ensure continuity of government. Uh, Patrick does not believe, and the parliamentarian does not believe, that he has the full powers of the speakership. And so what we are saying is, look, let's affirm that he does, in fact, have the full authority to act as speaker. Uh, if we want to put a, a time period on it, put a time period on it. But we need to get back to work. Uh, he doesn't and want to do it if it's going to be uh, maybe even a majority Democrat. Uh, well, he, look, to do that. Obviously, within the conference, uh, there's consternation about, uh, you know, Democrats uh, voting with Republicans to do this. But to me, that's laughable when you had eight Republicans team up with 208 Democrats to remove the Republican speaker. I want to ask you about that because we were talking about this when you came up. And now our, our Melanie Zanona is reporting that uh, Matt Gates and the seven others who voted to oust Kevin McCarthy wow. sent a letter to colleagues you included, saying that they're willing to accept whatever punishment, censure, getting kicked out of the conference uh, committees if it means that the holdouts, you, will back Jim Jordan. Is that a deal that you you willing to take? Meaning, just to put in English, if they're kicked out of the conference, is that enough for you to vote for Jim Jordan? Look, I, I think there needs to be consensus, right? You gotta get to 217. Right now, Jim Jordan does not have consensus. In fact, he's losing votes in each subsequent ballot. Uh, I do believe there needs to be consequence. I do believe what they did uh, was destructive to the conference, to the institution, and to the country. Uh, and the chaos that has ensued and the paralysis that has ensued is damaging. Um, but that ultimately is going to be for the conference to decide. As I said to Jim Jordan last Friday, on Monday, and again yesterday, the only way to solve this is to get the people in a room that need to be in the room. These folks, 
the folks who voted against Kevin in January, the folks who voted down rules, the folks who uh, voted against the conservative CR, together with folks like me in these swing districts to discuss how we're going to govern. Because frankly, it doesn't matter who the speaker is if you can't get 218 on the floor. This really doesn't seem like it should be that hard. It's not that complicated. Parents of young children understand yep. that uh, having conversations is the key. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate your time. And we have more ahead, including the latest comments from Jim Jordan, who, again, just lost his third bid to be House Speaker, plus the latest from the Middle East, where there is no relief to the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Pass the funding for aid to Ukraine and aid to Israel. President Biden has sent today to the House. A song by Paul Beckman, Paul the Rainbow Song, also the new and first leader of humankind in the free world created October 20th, 2023. that would make America a laughing stock. It can't get its government together to act. It can't do what it needs to do in times of war. To help Ukraine, to help Israel, both with each separate wars and situations. They must win, they must survive, otherwise it could be the defeat of democracy and freedom in our world today, and the world order the way we know it, with freedom and democracy for all. Oh, 
so come on now. It's not just idle chit chat. Because the rules are the way that they are. Come on, House of Representatives. Pick a new Speaker of the House. How about the guy who's already doing it? A temporary guy. Extend his roll a little bit. Let him continue on. Or solve it. Or join with the Democrats. With Hawking Jeffries. Two choices is about what you got now. Two choices. That's all you got.